Hello everybody, this is Chris Mackey and this is your 15th tutorial on Honeybee Energy Simulation. And in this one, guys, we're going to be finally covering constructions. I know we've worked with a lot of geometry and, and stuff in the last few videos, but we're finally putting all that, I mean, you guys understand the geometry, that's, that's behind us now. We're going to start focusing on the particularities of, of, uh, of energy modeling and stuff. So you can see, I, we're starting off with a, with a file, especially if you're just entering the, uh, the series right here. We're starting off with a file uh, that is of my parents' house, uh, and, uh, and I've sort of tried to organize it here into groups so that you guys can understand the different components of it but um, but essentially we have you know one one uh, one of the zones the attic zone is being created by a bunch of surfaces here uh, we have all the other zones being you know having uh, automated windows generated and everything um, and we we have all these these things coming together here and we use this component to run them through a simulation and then you know we have ways of adjusting parameters of the simulation like weather files and all that stuff and and just a way of visualizing the zones or essentially breaking a Part the walls and the you know and this this is what you guys are seeing in the rhino scene right now so all right that's just to give you a three second overview of, of, of this file that we're working with here and uh, and so all right guys so I know I've, I've talked about constructions a lot in the last few videos and the thing is honeybee has a whole tab that's devoted to constructions right here that we're gonna be working with in this one um, and uh, and specifically I mean these are actually these aren't even for uh, assigning construction these are even these are just for searching through uh, the the whole library of constructions that you have available to you um, and sort of understanding it and, and making your own constructions if you'd like um, so all right so where, where where shall we I think I think the best place to begin is actually by showing you guys the, the full construction library oh uh, you know what actually you know what uh, no I'm gonna give you guys a little more uh, of, a, of a background as to what we're actually simulating here first so if you guys ever want to check the constructions of, of zones that you've made there, there's a you know there are default constructions that are assigned but the easy way to do that is with, with a honeybee label zone surfaces component um, and you can see, I mean, with, you know, there's an input for attribute, and that's, you know, uh, there's there's an attribute list component that goes along with that. And you can select to, to display the energy plus construction of, of any zones that you have. So if I hook up uh, these honeybee zones that we send into the, the simulation that we've, we've spent the last few videos setting up, and I give it a few seconds because it's, you know, there are a lot of surfaces in this model. Um, it, it'll go and it will label the constructions of, of all of the, well, it, I mean, by default, it does all of the opaque surfaces and you can always set a boolean to true for this windows input if you want to check the construction of the windows maybe this wasn't necessarily the smartest idea to do this for uh, for all of the zones maybe it's sometimes nicer to just do it for one of them but uh, all right actually yeah given that I'm gonna fast forward for a few seconds guys okay guys so that finished uh, took took a few seconds because uh, yeah because we have a we ended up having a lot of surfaces in in this model but you can see in very very small tiny print if we zoom in here what what the constructions are that are being assigned uh, you know to, to each of these these walls I probably should have actually uh, should have bumped up the text height before running this you know what, actually I'm gonna do that quickly we'll just we'll take one of the zones I'm gonna select out one of the zones with the uh, this awesome honeybee item selector uh, that uh, that Andrew Human made for us uh, for for the honeybee suite that is um, and okay and now it'll just label the surfaces of a single zone I think probably then it's the it'll be the first one so okay so it's this one um, and we'll turn the preview off on that so you guys can see like all right exterior wall I mean there are these default constructions that are being assigned of like a default exterior wall default default interior floor I mean and uh, and I'm gonna show you guys in this in this you know exterior roof it's kinda of backwards um, but I'm gonna show you guys in this in this uh, video what exactly um, uh, each of these uh, these constructions are specifically. All right, so that's that's how you check constructions. Now to change them. Uh, all right, so we have this this component, this Honeybee call from EP construction library. And if you guys could drag and drop that onto your canvas, this is this is the key component that gives you access to all of the constructions that you that you can apply that are that are ready made and already in a library for you to use. And if you see, uh, if you hook up a panel here, I just just by double clicking and typing panel. Um, and you know, you look, you you look at what comes out of the this EP constructions of uh, of uh, of the Honeybee call EP, sorry, call from EP construction library. You'll see that we get a list of EP constructions. We get 436 different possible constructions. You guys can scroll through this a whole load of constructions that you guys can 
can assign uh, to, to, different, to different parts. And at the end of this list, you guys will actually see, ah, there is that exterior roof that we just checked on that zone. And okay, in the exterior wall and uh, in the interior floor, okay, so those, those constructions are, are in this library and that's, you know, that's where they're being pulled from. But you'll see that we have a bunch of other, other possible uh, uh, constructions we can pick, specifically that are based around certain standards. So you guys will see like ASHRAE 189. Uh, so I mean, so they're, they're, they're uh, four, actually I guess four different standards that are being used. ASHRAE, and there's, so there's an ASHRAE 90.1, and a CBEX. And so, so what those are is that, I mean, usually the constructions of your building, if, if you know, if, it, if it's a typical building and you're not doing anything particularly special with the envelope, your, your construction will be dictated based on your ASHRAE climate zone. And, uh, and if you guys haven't heard of what an ASHRAE climate zone is before, maybe, maybe I'll just, well, let's see, I'll, I can pull up. If you guys always just search ASHRAE climate zone but asteroid climate zones are just uh, you know just ways of, um, uh, of of sort of classifying how mostly how hot or how warm uh, certain cl uh, climates are so you can see like I mean this is a map of the US in terms of its climate zones um, you know and you can see that tropical areas are of climate zone one type um, and you know as you get further north and it gets colder you get you know the numbers get higher and so this is this is a you know and there's a standard based around this I'm sorry if this is kind of US centric by the way but I mean but I think you'll still find that probably you're the like if you have building codes in your own country for minimum simulations minimum insulation and they will probably be something similar to what to, to what ASHRAE is mandating and uh, and interesting yeah if you guys are ever curious about your ASHRAE climate zone um, so you see I mean in this in you know we we brought in the stat file of, uh, well we were we brought in the EPW file uh, with with uh, this component a few videos back and if you guys notice under ladybug there's actually a component that will tell you your your ASHRAE climate zone it's under zero ladybug and it's this import stat component and you guys see when we use this component in the past um, you know, it brought in a stat file for us that, you know, that's, that's an address, basically a file address of a stat file on my computer. Um, and so, I mean, if you hook that up into the, into the import stat file component, you'll see that you get a few things out of this. And one of these, these are ASHRAE climate zones. So, I mean, I know we're, we're looking at New York right now. Um, but, you know, and so that's ASHRAE climate zone 4A. And true to, you know, true to, to what we're looking at here, New York is, is 4A. You know, it's right in this yellow band right here. And so actually any, any file, any climate uh, EPW file over the entire planet will actually have an ASHRAE climate zone in its stat file even if it's not in the US. So, so you can use that as, you know, as a, a basis to, to start to select out the constructions that you might consider uh, from this big, enormous library that we have right here. So, all right, so actually, so now I should show you guys. So, of course, like this, you know, having this enormous block of like all these different constructions isn't as helpful unless you can search through it. And that's actually, if we go back to our Honeybee tab that's interested in constructions, that is actually what a lot of these components are, are sort of made to help you with, um, is to sort of help you search through the library and find constructions that are good for you. And I'll just go through, I mean, a few of them in, in, this, in this video here. But we'll start by doing this Honeybee Search EP Construction. So if you guys drag and drop this onto your canvas, you'll see that it, it takes this, this full construction list. Well, you know, actually, all right, I should, I should show you guys something first before we dive into this one, which is that you can do a search very quickly. If you know like the, the, the exact uh, um, you know, construction that you want, you can do a keyword search through this whole library. So let's say like, I know I want that air wall. Like, I mean, that's all that I really want to put, you know, pull, well, maybe the air wall is not the best idea. Maybe I, I you know, I want to find like just the exterior uh, components. So I could do a, pull up a panel and type ext and hit enter. And if I plug that into keywords, you'll see that it will plug it, you know, it'll find only the external, you know, these things that have ext in the, in the, uh, you know, in, in, in the, the, the names of the components. Um, or let's say, I mean, I want, uh, you know, just, I mean, this is, this is, I mean, I'll show you kind of a fast way of doing this, but you can do climate, uh, cl climate zone five, maybe, or, well, cause that's, that's the one that we're, no, no, I'm sorry. We said four a. So maybe it'll just look so, and so you can see this gives you all the ones that have the words climate zone four in it. So that's one way that you can kind of search through the library, but actually I'm going to show you guys another one that's a little bit more refined uh, here. 
which essentially it just you know just takes the EP constructions you can plug them into there and you know you can already have it refined to some extent in terms of keyword searches and but then you can actually scroll through and I'll, I'll, I'll let me connect this up here so you can you can select a certain standard that you want so you see like zero is ASHRAE 90.1 uh, one is ASHRAE 189 so actually ASHRAE 90.1 is a pretty I mean that's one that a lot of uh, a lot of you know, cities will tend to use for their for their you know their minimum requirements of insulation and such. So I'm going to do a, you know I'm just going to take a zero uh, type zero in there, and so I'm going to get all the ones. These are all the constructions for ASHRAE 90.1 that I get out of here. So all right, I'm starting to narrow down the search that way. And then you can also narrow it down more based on climate zone. And actually, and easily, you guys don't even, I mean, we, we knew that the climate was already 4A, but you can actually, guys, can just take the asteroid climate zone from the import stat file and just plug it into there. And now it'll give me all of the, all the constructions that relate to climate zone 4A right from me there. And now, okay, now we're really narrowed down. Now we're 33. This is a bit more manageable. I can, I can start to, you know, really assign different things based on this. Now, now you can select also surface type for wall, underground wall, roof, for floor, ceiling. Um, so, all right, so let's say we want to change all of the walls of these zones that we've been preparing um, over to, to ones for ASHRAE Climate Zone 5. So, all right, so I'm going to search for surface type wall, which is zero again. So actually, you know, I'm just going to do Control c Control v on that slider there. And okay, all right, now we've got all the walls for, for um, the ASHRAE 90.1 for Climate Zone 4A. And now, and uh, I mean, we can we can refine this a little bit more. There, you can know you know plug in some building programs or construction type. But actually, this is this is pretty this is pretty good right here. I think. I mean, I I'm looking at so I mean, really the only distinction now is between like whether it's a metal or a steel frame or a mass wall. And I, I know that my my house actually my family's house is particularly it's a it's a wood frame uh, construction. Uh, so all right, so I'm going to select that one out, and I'm just going to you know finish off the selection of this list by using a an item select component which you guys should know by now is is uh, is under the honeybee the zero honeybee tab um, so all right I'm gonna connect my construction list and I'm just gonna select out wood frame climate zone one to four um, that's actually one one to four all right yeah I, I guess yeah I guess this is this is probably I mean you'll see that a lot of these ones have a range for them um, where you know that's acceptable of, of, of acceptable climate zones so all right so we pulled out that construction now now if we want to change all of the walls let's say we want to change all the walls in this in this model over to to this wood frame asteroid 90.1 wall the easy way to do that now is with uh, you'll notice under the the um, the eight ener energy uh, tab here that there is a, a component to set EP zone construction and this is probably this is the fastest way I'd recommend if you have a bunch of zones and you just want to change all the walls or all the roofs to, to a certain thing this is the best way to do that so alright I'm gonna drag and drop this component onto the canvas here and you'll see that what we you know all we have to do is we hook up uh, you know our, our honeybee zones and you'll see that it's a very similar workflow to, to what we've been, you know, doing so far where you pass a, you know, you have zones that you pass through, whoops, through a, through a component and, uh, and, you know, and it changes the properties of them. So now, I mean, if we want to change all of the wall constructions to, uh, to this ASHRAE one, all that we have to do is just take this item, you know, which you'll see, I mean, just so you guys see out of this, it's, you know, it's just that one item. We'll just take it and plug it into wall construction there. And now we change all of the constructions over the entire of my of my family house here over to to ones that are actually uh, you know for the climate zone that that my my family's house is in, um, and that are wood frame. So so I mean so that's so they're they're pretty you know they're close to you know what uh, what actually my my uh, my family's house is like. So you can see, so that's also that's that's one way to set constructions there. I also wanted to point out because you guys know I mentioned in the in the previous videos when we were building up things surface by surface. Uh, so you can also change constructions for individual surfaces if you wanted to. If you use the, the individual surface by surface method as we did with the attic here to build up a zone, you can change. I mean, like suppose that you know, I mean, you guys see that this one is this wall this wall of uh, of you know my of the attic of my family house suppose that i knew that that construction was different for some reason you know uh than all the other constructions in the house so you know so i could use i could use the uh the essentially this and all i would have to do is plug it into the the ep construction here 
and, and just doing that, and then it would change that wall to that construction. Now, I mean, that this, this isn't necessarily too helpful in our case here because, uh, because essentially, you know, we overwrite this downstream. We overwrite all the walls to be that downstream. But, you know, but if we didn't do that, you guys can imagine that you can use this, this method uh, to try and change, to, to change the construction of individual surfaces. Um, you know, and that's also useful if, you know, if you wanted more insulation on the north side than south side because you knew that, I mean, you know, you can think of all sorts of reasons why you might have different constructions on different different walls of your building. But okay, guys, so that, that I mean, I'm, I know this is, yeah, it's, I'm just going to finish this off by letting this calculate. But I've shown you guys the basics now of, um, of sort of, well... All right. Well, it finished anyway. This was fast enough. Um, uh, you know of, of how to how to assign these these uh, constructions. And you guys know that you know these modified honeybee zones. I mean, you know by now that this is the thing that you're going to plug into the energy simulation uh, in order to uh, in order to be able to uh, to to run it through the through the model with these walls. And you know we can do the same things for roofs and you know and all the the other the other surface types there. Um, you know to to change them for the asteroid constructions. And maybe I'll do that in between videos. But you guys just so you guys get the sense of how to change the constructions now to at least something that is that is uh, you know more in line with what uh, with what your your climate zone is at least that you know at least it's respecting the amounts of insulation that are probably going to be required by code instead of just taking a default. Um, so all right, so you guys got that. In the next video, we're going to start to delve more into actually deconstructing these these. Um, these constructions and really showing you what they're made of and, and you know what the insulation values of them are so you guys can really understand and get a sense of what's going on in your energy model. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.